Hello, in this Excel tutorial video, we'll be going over the calibration curve from Experiment 1 in the Chem 1B Lab Manual. I've already typed my data into Excel, including some header information identifying the lab and what I'm doing in this calculation. The data that's collected in the lab, the SPF value for the known sunscreens, their absorbance, and the mass of sunscreen used, as well as the absorbance and mass of unknown used. I'm going to go ahead and start by calculating the corrected absorbance. The corrected absorbance is a way to address the varying amounts of sunscreen used in each case, and if you look in your lab manual it tells you to calculate it as the absorbance times 0 0.05 divided by the mass of the sunscreen used in grams. And I can copy this down to other cells by clicking on this handle and just dragging down, I'll delete that extra value, and I've calculated the corrected absorbance for each of my standards as well as my unknown. Next I want to plot this data to get a look at um, what I might want to do with it if there's any data points that don't make sense. I need to be sure to use XY scatter, and I'm just going to plot the data points by themselves at this stage. I have some extra series in here I don't need. I'm trying to plot corrected absorbance versus SPF, so I'm going to remove the raw absorbance and the mass. And there's my, my data. I'm going to go ahead and now put in um, axis headings and a chart title. I'm going to call this experiment 1. My x-axis is the SPF factor. My y-axis was corrected absorbance. I'm going to drop the grid lines and the legend. I don't need those on this plot. And I'm going to include it as an object in this worksheet rather than its own sheet. And it drops straight in here. I'm going to get rid of the background by right clicking on it, format plot area. And I'm going to change the color of this data series because I'm having trouble seeing it. So I'm going to make it a nice dark blue. And there's my data. For the most part, including the blank, I've included that, for the most part this looks linear, but this data point doesn't seem to fit. As I move my mouse cursor over it, it tells me it's the, the 8 SPF value. So I want to include that in the plot, but not include it in the linear fit. To do that, I'm going to take this data, cut that row, and stick it at the end. And it will make sense in a minute why we did this. I need to change this the range for this cal or this data curves to include that new point. So I select it and then drag these boxes a little larger and so now it's plotting all that information. The next step is to do the linear least squares regression and I'm going to do that with the slope and intercept function. I've entered some headings here. To calculate the slope I'm going to use Excel's slope function. Enter equal to tell it it's a fun uh, equation. Slope is the name of the function to calculate the slope. Open parentheses and I put the things I want it to use to calculate in here. In this case the corrected absorbance are the y values, but I'm not going to include all of them. I moved that 8 to the end so I could drag over a range and not include that value. And here's my x data on the SPF. It's very important that as you use the slope and intercept functions that you use the same range for each. But we'll enter these values in, close parentheses, return. And those two calculations give me the slope and intercept that I need to calculate my unknown SPF for the sunscreen. But they haven't put it on the plot yet. To do that, I'm going to enter a new series for my plot. I'm going to call it fit. And I'm going to use the equation that y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope. I click on the cell. I'm going to need to make this an absolute cell reference. If I hit the F4 key, it toggles those dollar signs, and that says don't change the cell position as I copy it down, times my x value is the SPF plus the intercept. And again, this needs to be an absolute cell reference. Enter. And that's calculated the, the best fit y value for 0. And I can simply drag this down to go over the entire range. I need to add this as new data to my plot. So I'm going to select my plot. 
and that's going to open a chart menu. I'm going to go to Source Data, and I'm going to add a new series. I'll go ahead and call it my fit. Select the X values. The X values are these SPF numbers. The Y values are my calculated fit curve. And I'll click OK. I need to find those that fit curve and change its appearance. The fit doesn't have any data points. It's simply a line that I am asserting fits through the data. So I want a line. I'll set that to automatic and my marker is none. This is the points that you see. So now I have a nice calibration curve with a linear least squares fit through the data excluding a data point. The last step is to calculate our unknown x value which I'll say is the unknown SPF and you can rearrange that y equals mx plus b to solve for x and this is equal to my unknown y measurement which is the corrected absorbance minus the intercept divided by the slope and so I would report an SPF value of 22.9 or perhaps 23 um, in my lab report.